Hey everyone, Red here, and I'm a little bit under the weather, so you probably won't do a quick intro today. Well, I guess we'll make this part of the intro. I just wanted to play around with the Blight I Serum on Wesker, Moros. and we're built around it with Lethal Pursuer, so we have someone right here. And we can use Blighted Rush. Oh, wait, they're in a locker? And this one? Oh, that's so unfortunate. There we go. And now we can use Blight Rush to hopefully catch up to them. And we can kind of play off of that. And every time we hook a survivor, we're going to get an extra token of Blighted Rush. Hi. Always has a little bit of a wind-up. That little pre-drop, though. Nice. She actually vaulted it. You disappoint me. Is that the best you've got? The idea with this is that we're going to be trying to get these very quick downs and then transfer that into like quick devour stacks so we can just snowball the game out. Yeah, I see your flashlight. And then we have call Brian just for a little bit of gen slowdown. Start. Where'd she oh she went over here, okay. Oh well, you went all the way over here. And we got like what, two pallets? Oh someone's to my right, hold up. Uh thank you. We're going to have to break it. That's fine. She kept me honest. That's good. With someone being on the hook, it's always a good time to try and get some of these pallets out. Because they all connect on this map, and it can be really brutal. Fair enough. Let's just go ahead and break it real quick. And I might be able to catch her here. Oh, she has vault, doesn't she? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Does she keep running to the left? No. All right. Well... Let's go for the biggest mind game ever. She wasn't ready for it. Whew, that was close. Alright, let's go ahead get her up here on this hook. No special reason, I just want to get to the next chase as quick as possible. And our Devourer isn't in a great spot. You could also do this with Save the Best for Last and probably get some good value too. Like, you could use Say Best for Last to break out of your cooldown right away, and then use Blight Rush to catch up somebody. But I enjoy this, because it's just a very high-paced game. <laughs> oh, thank you. you love to see it. And there we go. This will be our third stack whenever they get to save. And I gotta time this right so I don't ruin this stack. Nice. If I went too soon, we could actually ruin us getting the stack. Well, let's go ahead and tag her real quick. Just kidding. It was all prank. I guess really just kidding. I must have clipped the edge of that. Alright, let's quick, quickly take a look around. This definitely is what we want here. We want to be in the next chase like right away. Tell me you're not my totem. Oh, worst feeling in the world. Unfortunately, I can't hear really well, so she was probably on, and I probably could have stopped it. Being sick, like my sinuses are just kind of uber messing me today. Here we go. She shouldn't be able to make that round again. You got dead hard, maybe? Yes, you do. Cool. That's all right. We can call Brian this. Maybe next game we get some real good devour value, but this game is a no-go. We can still use our blood rush to get around everywhere. Both over here. Cool. Oh, they're going to pop it. Don't think I can stop it. No, I can't. Ooh. So close. Wait. Is this actually like a little bit of a dead zone here? This is actually kind of nutty. This is really good RNG for me for this map. All right, she's doubling back, but it's still a dead zone here. Yeah, literally no pallet here. That is crazy good RNG for me. We'll take a little bit of infection. Hmm. I know someone's here, which is a matter of fact, like where they managed to get off to. Oh, there we go. Hi. Can I use Blight Rush to get some value here? Uh, no one saw that.
<laughs> uh, it's kind of a ram shot in the dark. Oh, we actually found someone else. I mean, that's just kind of lucky. Rebecca healed herself, too. Oh, nice set hard. I wasn't really thinking about it. Unfortunate. I was trying to throw her away, but we'll take the infection then. That works, though. It's still a trade, which is pretty good. And she is trying to cleanse herself. We have her healing over here. We'll get pretty close here. With Blight. I might be able to get a little closer, but I thought she might try and run around this. Grind on this. She did keep running. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe tag her with the bound. Ooh, if it wasn't for the chest, we could definitely get that. That makes over here a pretty big dead dead zone. So she goes to Shack. No, she actually went the other way. That's really good for me. We can now actually continue this chase, even though she has a little distance. We've gotten rid of almost every pallet over here. Actually, I think we have gotten rid of every pallet. Unlucky. Oh, we got her to double back. We'll take it. All right, that's her second hook. One going to the right. We have one to the left. And she's injured, so we can definitely use our blind rush to get over here. But I want to take a better angle. Yeah, this works out. Oh, and there she is. Does she think she actually hid from me? Hold up. We'll just break this in the meantime. Hi. <laughs> That's a little unfortunate for her, but really great for us. And that is one survivor down. No barbecue value this time. Oh, but we can at least get our points. I think I have like one or two more things to go to complete like the event in terms of like the special items. There you are. I mean, we can definitely play around this. Fake the bound. Yeah, there we go. Easy break. Okay. So she must be going around over here. Yeah. Oh, there she goes. This is the last pallet she can really play. I should be able to catch her. Maybe not. She kept really tight to the wall there. Fair enough. That means we have to break it. No point in playing around with it. Oh, that actually worked out a lot better than I thought it would. And there we go. And look at that. Every survivor now is on death hook. We do have another blighted rush, but I gotta know where they're at before I use it. Oh, we're definitely over here. No, oh, I saw you. Nice guy. She should have uh, took it right there when I double back in. All right, now she's gonna try and get around here, and I can use blighted rush. Perfect. Oh, you know what? I already broke that pallet. That's my bad. Maybe I can stop this, though? Mm. Oh, she's going for it. Nice. Oh, look at that. That's great. Her game is over. And there we go. We can get rid of the boon for now. Oh, man. We have this goober over here who's injured, so we're definitely going for her. Ooh. I thought maybe I had enough range there. Oh, well. We just pinch her off here. Mm, there we go. Oh, my bad. I was going to look to see if they brought a hatch offering. 
Where are you going? Nowhere. Now I just need a rift to deposit the rest of my points, really. I have one right there. No! Oh. Oh, yeah. You're gonna die for it. See, even the entity thinks you deserve it. Yeah, this whole area is a dead zone. Thankfully, a rift is right there, so I can deposit my points after we get the down here. Nice dead hard. And there we go. Game two is on family residence. Ooh. I shall release and we have Ouroboros. three survivors who are spawned over here. This is good. It looks like they're going to try and use their first aids now. That's something I didn't talk about the first. I wanted to bring the exposed dad on here. Well, not exposed, but I wanted to bring the uh, vial. Just to make sure I could get some good early pressure. Really everything about the build. Wait. Nice. Everything about the build is really early dominant. The only kind of like late game or game that like perk that scales real well is going to be Brian if Devour gets popped. Because Brian can really help uh, bring a game back if you get a lot of pressure going. Started. All right. Now let's see. How far away do you think she got? Well, if I don't get stuck on things. Quite the distance. But we do have Blighted Rush. And now we have her in this corner. Which is exactly where you want to survive her. Oh, wow. She didn't drop it afterwards, which is pretty good. Oh, I might be able to make that window. Wow. That's going to be really unlucky for her. Nice, dead hard. Far performance in. Far corner hook. Wait, I just heard someone get out of a locker. Maybe not. It could have been this one, yeah? I swear I heard someone in the locker, but again, I really can't hear too well right now. Hmm. Oh well. What up? Well, someone was over here. What angle do they take, though? Oh, hello. That works. We can go for Michaela. Ooh, wait. Oh. I was hopeful. But now we just transfer back to Michaela because she's cornered. Doubling back. Nice. And this will be our third stack when they come for the save. I would like to be able to get another down. Hold up, Fang. Where are you at? I'd like to be able to get another down before they get this save, though. I only have one person in aura right now. Let's go ahead and deposit our points. We also get a haste buff, which is nice. I wonder if that stacks with the Blighted Rush. Does anyone know? Answer down in the comment section. I normally don't play with the uh, Blighted Vial, but it's, it's been kind of fun. Or just the Blighted Rush in general. Well, we're still here. We'll take our free hit. Why not? And now if she gets distance. Oh, you should have ran to Shaq for the vault. Yeah, that was a kind of a misplay. Because now I can just use Blighted Rush if she gets too far. But I might be able just to take her down with a basic attack. Ooh, thank you. Very unsafe area to play in. Hmm. Hello, Fang. Maybe? If I went maybe a little sooner, I think I could have had that. We can brine this now and then maybe chase her down if she leaves Shaq. Pretty sure she's moving away. Yeah, yeah. How far? I might be able to catch this, actually. Ooh, so close. We can just eat it. 
postponing. That's always a gamble when you double back like that as a survivor. Only two there. One's nearby. Fair enough. And we have Bill here. It was this rock, right? No, I think it was just behind this one then. Hey, dude. I just misread how far away it was. And look at that. Great devour value right away. Now we hook. We get some hopefully good barbecue value. Got one survivor running to the left. I don't have the other survivor. I could stop her. But at the same time, I could let her get in and get five stacks. I just got to make sure not to step in range. Oh, a little too fat. Oh, there we go. I didn't think I was going to be able to get it. We'll go for the Michaela here. Hmm. Oh, she wasn't running for Shaq. I figured she might just hold uh, straight to Shaq. Wow, no scratch marks either. They kind of just completely vanished. No point in playing with it too much. I want to watch over my totem here a bit. Oh, the rift disappeared. There it is. Cool. We have five stacks. I just don't want Devourer to get popped now. I want to at least get one survivor down. Oh, we came over to Shaq here. Okay. We're still relaxing. Hi. Yeah, you got to drop this right away now. Ooh, so close. Mayor, second guess. I don't know if I can catch up to this in time. We'll see, though. Let's just hold it forward. She is running over here by her totem, which is kind of good. It means we can check on the totem as well. Oh, no. Fang's on it. Gotta hurry up. Come on. Let me get this. Nice. Woo. Just in time. And we get our first Mori. Hopefully more. That is pretty gruesome. All right, I left for a split second. Now, I wonder if the fang was able to see where the other fang died. Okay, well, she didn't come back for the totem. I don't want to leave it. Oh, here we go. Bill's chilling here. I just want to take the ball away. Cool. There goes his sprint burst. Playing the rock. And there we go. Big mind games. And a big reward with another Mori. Love to see it. Except for like the end, where like it starts crawling into their eye. That's just... Ugh. Now, can we find these last two survivors? Oh, there we go. Wow, that was just perfectly timed. Oh, I got stuck. I would have had her, too. Oh, darn it. So close, man. Oh, she just kind of back through. No, she vanished again. Wait, did she hop in a locker? Oh, she did. Quick and quiet. That's probably what she did last time. Nice. Well, we can't let her get hooked. We gotta kill her the good way. Mori time. I can't ever imagine punching Wesker going well. Especially when he has a blighted arm like that. Alright. Oh, wow. That was really quick. But, everyone, that is the second game. Overall, it was a lot of fun. I am pretty sick right now, so my voice is already kind of bleeding from me. I'm sure I'll have a lot of editing to do when it comes to, like, coughing and removing that, so you guys don't have to listen to it. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Much love. And until next time, I'm Red, and I am signing off. Peace, guys.